I'm Sarah Gore and this is Open House. We're all about designs that complement their locations this week, including a pair of impressive Brooklyn projects. One in Dumbo with the stylish duo of Dakar Design, and another in Cobble Hill with a rooftop oasis you are not going to want to miss. We also learn how one Los Angeles fashion blogger remade her home while preserving its original charm. Plus, we're in Rockaway Beach, Queens to check out this chateau-style home that features both city and sea views. But first, holiday living every day at this memorable Malibu retreat. Who doesn't want to have your own private beach overlooking the beach? This is where you want to end your day. Welcome to Open House. This week we're all about daring and surprising designs with decor and architectural details that complement their locations. We are getting started in Malibu with architect Doug Burge. Doug set out to create a home that gives you the sense that you're spending your days in a boutique hotel on the ocean. And the result is a relaxing resort-like oasis that will have you waking up feeling like you're on vacation. Check this out. Hi, I'm Doug Burge of Burge & Associates Architects, and I'm gonna be taking you on a tour of the Carbon Beach Terrace Estate. And there's a lot to see inside this home. Let's go take a look. As you're first walking into a home like this, you're taken back by that magnificent view of the Pacific Ocean. We were really careful to make sure that we were able to capture that view as many rooms as possible. And the use of the Fleetwood doors, pocketing into walls, you have no idea whether inside or outside. Most people might call this a formal living room, but in this case, there's nothing formal about this house. In this living area, we've got magnificent furniture, amazing lighting, contrasting with the wood ceilings against the Portuguese limestone floors, and then we have this really nice fireplace. Right off the living area is the study. You have these shelving units that are surrounding the desk area. There's even a collection of artifacts, fossils, that we unearthed during construction. One of the coolest features in this study is the pop-up bar, which is quite an amazing piece of furniture. Fully stocked, so at the end of the day, you can have that quick drink and get onto the party. When you think about it, one of the most iconic views that you have in any house is from the kitchen sink. And behind us, we have this very functioning, incredible kitchen. It's just a collection of amazing finishes, but functionality all at the same time. What you'll like even more about this kitchen is the fact that right off of it is a really casual seating area. It really makes this room wonderful. One of the most incredible things about this house is its attention to meticulous details. You come down to this lower level that's not your ordinary media room, and you're really creating a nightclub experience down here. You've got this amazing long bar. It's natural stone backlit to create this effect. This is one space that you're never gonna wanna leave. Well, who doesn't wanna come home at the end of a day and have their own wellness center? In this case, we have this incredible whirlpool with skylights, candlelit niches, Italian porcelain wall material, that's from Euro West. And we got a gym, we got a massage room. You come into here and your troubles are washed away. When you think of retreats, there's nothing like a master retreat. The first thing you see is this view. You have the Pacific Ocean in the backdrop, you can hear the waves. We've got a spacious deck, and you got this sitting area with a beautiful fireplace. You're surrounded by your favorite books. It's just a really great place to take the edge off the end of the day. All right, we're here at one of the coolest parts of the house. You have a swim-up bar, and then right on the other side, you have your outdoor kitchen. And to cap it off, you have this amazing beach area. Who doesn't want to have your own private beach overlooking the beach? This is where you want to end your day. You guys can see yourself out. That was the epitome of holiday living. And speaking of holidays, up next, we are heading back east for a look at this impressive beachfront estate in New York City. Yeah, you heard that right, in New York City. <laughs> we'll see what I mean in just a few.
Welcome back. Now we head out to Rockaway Beach, Queens. The Rockaways have made a dramatic comeback, drawing in the city's stylish sun worshippers and surfers, yes, yeah, surfers, who arrive in droves via subway or ferry. Add a lively boardwalk along the miles of sand and you have a magical beach destination that proves you don't have to schlep to the Hamptons. But visiting is one thing. What about living there? Let's take a look at this French chateau style home just steps from the rolling waves. It's approximately 5,000 square feet with five bedrooms, each with its own private balcony to take in that Atlantic sea air. My name is Lisa Jackson. I'm with Rockaway Properties and welcome to the beach right here in New York City. We're in the exclusive Neponset area of Rockaway Beach. The blocks here are filled with beautiful private homes, but none of them compare to this one. Let's go take a look. 151 Beach 146th Street was built in the style of a French chateau using imported limestone. It's a grand and gorgeous home, just steps from the beach and filled with surprises at every turn. As soon as you walk in, you can't help but to say, wow. This triple height entry foyer really sets the tone. There's Venetian plaster walls, a honed calicata marble staircase, and stained glass windows that give off a soft glow. And speaking of glow, just look at this chandelier. The owners even created this floral design in the mosaic marble floor. It's luxurious but livable, just like the rest of the home. The entertaining areas begin with this stunning living room. The old world molding, paneling, and the ornate fireplace create a wonderful contrast with a modern, airy, open floor plan. Huge windows keep everything so bright, and you can see the ocean just over the dunes. And seeing the ocean, of course, is a theme in this home. This dining area connects the living room and the kitchen creating a cool enfilade that unites the spaces. Here, you'll also notice the silver leaf dome and hand-painted murals depicting scenes from a French countryside. It's such a romantic place to dine, and you can even dine al fresco. Passing through this bright European-style kitchen, the sun almost begs you to come outside, so why don't we oblige? Imagine calling this your backyard. There's this nearly 40-foot pool, a full kitchen, and it's all surrounded by these trees for added privacy. I'm pretty sure this place will be the center of your universe in the summer, but can I let you in on a little secret? This is not even the only pool. Downstairs is a full Turkish bath that features steam and sauna. Add that to a billiards room and wine cellar, and you've got one show-stopping basement but let's head upstairs. This is the huge master suite with two walk-in closets, floor-to-ceiling windows on three sides, and glorious ocean views. In fact, the owners fell so in love with the views that they even put a bathtub right here so they can soak while soaking in the beauty of the sea. And if you want to get closer to those views, you could just step out onto the private balcony. I swear, when you're out here, you forget that you're in New York City. But I have one more place to show you. An elevator brings you up to this amazing rooftop deck. It's a great place for cocktails with both city and ocean views. Paradise does exist in the city, and it's right here in the Rockaways. But more specifically, Beach 146th Street. Thanks so much for stopping by. City and sea views is definitely a rarity for New York. That home made you forget the congestion of the city streets are less than an hour away. Coming up just after the break, we take a look at how one fashion blogger and creative director paid homage to the original details in her Los Angeles home. Welcome back. Now we're in the historic district of Mid-Wilshire, Los Angeles with creative director and fashion blogger Madeline Furlong. 
When designing her home, Madeline fell in love with the original details and sought to highlight the rich history of the space. In doing so, she kept the color palette neutral, focusing on adding textures and finishes. The result is an eclectic mix of vintage and contemporary pieces that reflect her personality. See for yourself. Hi, I'm Madeline Furlong. I'm a fashion blogger and creative director living in Los Angeles, California. Welcome to my apartment. I like to keep the color palette pretty neutral and focus on textures and finding and sourcing secondhand furniture and pairing it with more modern design elements. A perfect example of that design philosophy is my living room, which is the first room you see when you walk through the front door. So the coffee table is one of my favorite vintage finds. I found it on Craigslist for $200, and turns out that it's actually a Carl Springer piece from the 1980s. It's resin, but it looks like marble, which is pretty cool. The oversized ottoman adds both design and functionality to the room. It creates this cozy environment, plus it adds additional seating. Above the lounge chair is a lighting sconce and that corner is accented by a vintage Gibson guitar that was a gift from my father. And that whole section actually hides a door into my bedroom. And since I didn't want to use that door, I decided to just completely close it off. I made a large scale painting to just set on top of the credenza and accented it with an orchid and some vases. And I loved that I didn't even have to get out my screwdriver. Just past the credenza, you walk into my dining room. It's a smaller space, so I wanted to keep it bright and airy. The first thing you notice are the chairs around the dining table. I loved the black graphic against all the wood and the white in the space. Above the dining table, you will see a beautiful chandelier, which is minimal yet makes a statement. The dining room also seconds as my home office. So when I'm not working, I'm often hosting. The desk is the perfect space for this because it also can second as a bar. To tie the whole room together are the floors. They're original to the space and I think the perfect color. They really add so much warmth to the entire look. Moving on, the last space I want to talk about is my bedroom. I designed the space to be very calm, relaxed, and sanctuary-esque. A space where I could lounge in bed with a cup of coffee and maybe a few work emails. I never mind when there are slight imperfections in the furniture pieces that I do purchase. A great example of this is the bench right in front of my bed. It's the perfect space to throw all my clothes on when I'm getting ready, but it also adds a really nice rustic element to the room because of the imperfections in it. In the corner, I have a terrazzo planter on top of a few fashion shoe boxes. Terrazzo is one of my favorite design trends at the moment, and I wanted to add a little bit of that into my space. Thank you guys so much for spending a bit of time with me in my LA home. This apartment has been a complete labor of love and an amazing experience to really showcase who I am through the design that I created. It's clear how Madeline's sense of style is reflected in her decor. Coming up next, style on the waterfront in Brooklyn with design partners Dolores Suarez and Caroline Grant. Welcome back to Open House. Now we're in Dumbo with the founders of Dakar Design. Caroline Grant and Dolores Suarez share how they added personality and color to what was originally a white box, as they call it. Take a look. Hi, I'm Caroline. And I'm Dolores, and we're the founders of Dakar Design. Welcome to our project in Dumbo. This is a new build, and we were tasked by the client to give it character and personality. We did this by adding various wall coverings, vintage rugs, and unique lighting. We're excited about the project and can't wait to show you around. We love giving a place a sense of entry. So we added a velvet bench where you can sit and put your shoes on, and we thought it was a perfect opportunity to add hand-painted Gracie wallpaper. When you look up and you feel like you're swimming with koi fish. We started the dining room off with this antique mirror. As a designer, sometimes you have to work with the existing bones of the space. And here, there's a bump out because of the mechanicals inside the walls. We saw it as an opportunity and created a moment out of the alcove. Because this is a long loft-like apartment, one of the challenges was to bring light into the back of the space. And at the same time, we had to divide the space. And this mirror does both. And because the family likes to entertain a lot, we created a custom wood table that seats 10 people. 
We contrasted the table with these chairs that we paired in two different fabrics. The front's a leather, and then the back has a linen fabric by Zach and Fox, which brings in a vintage feel. Because this is an open floor plan, we had to create a visual dialogue with the living room. So again in here, we decided to add bold wallpaper to ground the room. We printed a custom pattern on grass cloth, which gives it a more textured feel and picks up on the fabrics in the room. So we started with an oversized sofa that we covered in mohair to give it a little dressiness, but the sofa's big enough that everyone can fit on it and sit by the fire. To finish off the space, we add this asymmetrical light fixture, which adds drama, but doesn't block the view to the garden. But there's a really great view of it from the master. This room has an amazing view, but this wall of glass made it feel like a hotel. Our job was to give it a warm and cozy feeling while still maintaining its light and airy nature. We used the chinoiserie wallpaper to create a garden feel and echo the greenery outside. We weren't afraid to use a darker color because we have so much natural light. And these sculptural lamps, which are more modern, juxtapose nicely with the chinoiserie wallpaper. Because this is a modern space, we wanted to embrace it and have a little fun with it including this fireplace, which we designed to have a contemporary feel. And then we added this incredibly soft banana leaf rug. And before we go, I'm just gonna show you the view real quick. Brooklyn really does have the best views. It's hard to believe this was a white box when we started, but by adding fireplaces, fun wall covering, and lighting, we were able to turn into a home. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Their designs definitely complemented those stunning city views. We're gonna take a break, but when we come back, we are sticking around in Brooklyn to see how one landscape designer created the perfect urban oasis. We'll see you in just a bit. Welcome back. Now we're in the Cobble Hill section of Brooklyn with landscape designer Julie Ferris. Julie's townhome is bright and airy, streamlined and subtle, yet filled with a mix of materials that reflect her passion and interest in nature. But as a landscape designer, it's the rooftop garden we all want to see, right? Check out this bit of paradise in the heart of the city. My name is Julie Ferris. I'm a landscape designer living and working in Brooklyn, New York. Welcome to my home. When we were building the house, I actually knew that I wanted a rooftop garden, so that dictated the layout. We put all the bedrooms on the first floor and the main public spaces on the upper floor with higher ceilings and tons of light. Even though it's an open plan, we still wanted each area to have its own character. We have a living room, dining room, and kitchen, but many of the materials and details lend a sense of continuity. They're just treated differently. Because the home is mostly a canvas of neutrals, we brought in pops of green to make a color statement. Seemingly simple and insignificant details like the stone ledge meeting the bench, meeting the reveal to the window are often what make the project sing the most. We built a skylight over the kitchen banquette to give you a hint of what's beyond. So let's go check out that beyond. When you come up the floating stair, I really want you to feel transported and for the city to just fall away. With any garden, you really just want to think about it as how you move through the space and what you're seeing and what you're feeling. I like to work with plants that are native, super hardy, and well adapted to their locations. So it's great to have a local nursery where you can do your serious plant shopping. And I often rely on the Gowanus Nursery. Like architecture, well-designed gardens have a structure, and plants can add to that structure, but they also can convey a mood or sensibility. Plants like roses, calamagrostis, and lavender not only bring color, but also give it a beachy feel. So the plan is actually super simple. It's a walkway that connects two main spaces. There's a lounging area, which contains a sofa, a chair, and a dining table, and views out to Manhattan. Then on the other side, it's a sunbathing area that's on AstroTurf. These two areas are actually separated by a large swath of planting. We created a green roof structure, which allows for drainage to occur, and so the plants can actually thrive in this location. 
essentially what I really wanted to do up here was to create a beachy feel. And so I felt like the walkway, which is Ipe, really contributed to a feeling that you were on some kind of boardwalk. Because we're basically creating new ground, you really don't want to be aware of the fact that there's structure and roof beneath your feet. So river stones actually help to camouflage what's happening and make you feel like you're floating. I feel like with any well-designed garden, it can have multiple functions, but at the end of the day, all you'll notice is its beauty. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at my house and my roof garden. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?